New tonight, a group is bringing up concerns about potential bullying in Newport News schools. And this follows the death of a 14-year-old Woodside High School freshman last month. Family says Deja Jones took her life due to bullying, at least in part. They're still hoping someone will take responsibility for what they say happened. Ten of your size, Liz Kilmer was at tonight's school board meeting and joins us now. Liz. And at Tom and Anita, Deja's family members tell me they feel like nothing is being done to combat bullying. Tonight, they were joined by several other families in asking the administration to take action. School board members say they will. That this is on the level of an epidemic. One month after a Newport News student took her own life, family members are fighting to make sure it doesn't happen again to another child. That my granddaughter's death will not be in vain. Loved ones of 14-year-old Deja Jones believe the freshman at Woodside High was bullied. Tuesday, they went before the school board, joined by other parents and students, saying enough is enough. Why is there such a history of bullying and there being nothing done about it? I have been bullied more times than I can count. Among those offering solutions, this seventh grader, who's part of an outside group called Champions Against Bullying, which she hopes to bring to the division. Others told the board they want to see more security guards in schools and on buses. Some proposed more mentoring programs. School board members say they're listening. When something happens like Deja Jones is passing and the, the light is turned on to what brought that about, we, we, have to, we have to ask ourselves, you know, are we doing everything we can? We review our policies on a regular basis, and after hearing from the community tonight, we will certainly go back and, and listen to all the suggestions. Listed on the division's website are programs and activities now in place to promote safety, from a crime line to staff training to counselors to security cameras. These folks say it wasn't enough to save Deja. But we have to keep fighting because if we stop, no one's going to listen. Thank you. And Deja's family members are in the process of launching a nonprofit organization called No Deja Vu. It will be aimed at raising awareness against bullying in schools. We'll keep you posted on their progress. I'm live in Newport News. Liz Kilmer, 10 on your side. And the fight against bullying continues Thursday. That's when Andy Fox delves into the long-term effects. A special report, Bullied, Scars for Life, again Thursday. And it begins on Wavy News 10 at 4.